Good everyone, today we are going to talk about leadership. And at the end of this session, you will be able to differentiate leader and leadership and at the same time identify the different qualities of a good leader. So let us now start by defining first what is a leader. A leader is someone who acts as a guide, a directing head, and someone who leads a body of troops. Whereas, leadership is the position of a leader, the quality displayed by a leader, and the act of leading. So the question is, how to become a good leader? We often say that some people are good leaders, while others are not. But what is really our basis for judging one's capacity for being a good leader? From a follower's perspective, a good leadership can be attributed on several qualities that a person must have. These qualities make people comply and passionately follow a leader. So what are these qualities or leadership qualities? Let us start with character. When we say character, it is the quality of a person's behavior as revealed in his habits of thoughts and expressions, his attitudes and interests, his action, and his personal philosophy in life. Be a piece of the rock. There would always be two, two paths to choose from, character and compromise. Every time a person chooses character, he becomes stronger, even if the choice brings negative consequences. So, what people must know about character? Character is more than talk. Talent is a gift, but character is a choice. Character brings lasting success with people. Leaders cannot rise above the limitations of their character. Character can also be improved by doing the following. First, search for the cracks. You need to reflect on the major decisions that you had done in your life as far as you can remember in terms of letting people down or giving compromises. Second, look for patterns. From the reflections that you have done, are there particular instances that, that kept emerging? These patterns will help you diagnose issues of character. Third, face the music. It is when you apologize and accept your mistakes that character repairs begin. And fourth, rebuild. You have been brave enough to face your past actions, but more courage is needed to face the future. Let your past actions serve as your guide so as not to commit the mistakes in the future. The second one is charisma. The first impression can seal the deal. Charisma is a special spiritual gift bestowed temporarily by the Holy Spirit on a group or an individual for the general good of the church. An extraordinary power in a person group, cause, which takes hold of popular imaginations, wins popular support, is what we call charisma. To make yourself the kind of person who attracts others, you need to personify these pointers. First, love life. Second, put a 10 on every person's head. Third, give people hope. And fourth, share yourself. Charisma can be improved by doing the following. First, change your focus. Always check if your focus during conversation is towards yourself. Learn how to balance. Recognize the persons who made contributions on the success of a project. The second one, play the first impressions game. When you meet a person for the first time, focus on him. Remember his name and interests and give positive comments. Try your best to give a very good impression. Third, 
share yourself. Share your resources to others. Resources come in different ways anyway. Share what you have, like talents, skills, and valuable services aside from material things. These are highly appreciated. The third one is commitment. It separates doers from dreamers. Commitment is something which engages one to do something, a continuing obligation, especially financial. The act of committing is the state of intellectual and emotional adherence to some political, social, religious theory or action especially the conscious linking of works of literature and art with such theory of action. So what is the true nature of commitment? The true nature of commitment is starts in the heart, is, that is tested by action, and opens the door to achievement. Commitment can be improved by doing the following. First, measure it. Commitments can be measured through the following. How much time you devote at work, family, in service, in health, and recreation activities, and how much you spend on living expenses, entertainment, personal development, and giving. Compare how much you devote and spend on these things. Is it justifiable? Next, know what's worth dying for. Answer the question. Write what's in your thoughts. Much if your answers are parallel with your ideas. The fourth one is communication. Without it, you travel alone. Communication is the act of communicating, something communicated or a means of sending a message or orders. You can be more effective as a communicator if you follow four basic truths. These truths are simplify your message, see the person, show the truth, and seek a response. And communication can also be improved by doing the following. First, be clear as a bell. Whether in oral or written communication, being brief and concise and direct simplifies and clarifies thoughts. Simplify and clarify must be noted to achieve good communication. Second one, refocus your attention. Different instances require different topics. Don't make yourself arrogant. Know the needs and desires of your listener. Third one, leave your message. Make sure that you have been understood. Ask questions for clarity and accept comments without defensiveness. The fifth one is competence. If you build it, they will come. When we say competence, it is the ability to apply or use a set of related knowledge, skills, and abilities required to successfully perform tasks in a defined work setting. To cultivate competence, do the following. Show up every day. Keep improving. Follow through with excellence. Accomplish more than expected. And inspire others. Competence can also be improved by doing the following. First one, get your head in the game. Devote yourself to your job and be firm to give a proper amount of attention. Second one, redefine the standard. When your performance is not consistently at high levels, evaluate yourself. Define your standards and make adjustments to fit standards of your job description. And find three ways to improve. There's always a room for improvement. Assess yourself and make necessary changes. Courage. One person with courage is a majority. Courage is the quality of the mind that enables the person to face difficulty, danger without fear. 
truths about courage is that it begins with an inward battle. It is making things right and not just smoothing them over. In a leader inspires commitment from followers and your life expands in proportion to your courage. Courage can be improved by, all, by the following or by doing the following. First one, face the music. Be active. Try muscle stretching activities. Conquer your fears. Skydive if you're afraid of heights. The second one, talk to that person. Avoiding confrontation does not solve differences. Have the courage to talk to that person but do it with love. Take a giant step. When everything seems to be monotonous, don't be afraid to make a career move. There are more things out there to be enjoyed and to be discovered. Discernment Put an end to unsolved mysteries. Discernment or discern is to perceive by the sight or the intellect, to distinguish mentally. To maximize effectiveness of a leader, you should do the following. You discover the root issues, enhance your problem solving, evaluate your opinions or evaluate your options for maximum impact, and multiply your opportunities. Discernment can be improved by the following. Analyze past success. Remember things you had done to succeed on your goals. Problems arise on the process of achieving these goals. And solutions that made you succeed can be used again in the future. Learn how others think. We admire other personalities as leaders. Putting yourself to think like leaders who are wise will make us more discerning. Listen to your gut. Your intuition affects your decision. There are many instances that you, your intuition is correct. Find a pattern of your intuitive ability, and this pattern will give you imminent recourse that will affect your discourse or decision. Focus. The sharper it is, the sharper you are. Focus is a central point of attraction, attention, or activity. These are the guidelines to focus your time and energy. 70% on strength, 25% on new things, and 5% on areas of weakness. Focus can also be improved by doing the following. Shift to strengths. You need to identify your strengths and dedicate 70% of your time on it. Staff your weaknesses. Identify your weaknesses and try to improve on them. Create an edge. Since you had identified your strengths and weaknesses, you can proceed to the next level. Think of the new tools that you need to go to the next level. Generosity. Your candle loses nothing when it lights another. Generosity or generous is the quality of being generous or of giving freely. The following will cultivate the quality of generosity in your life. You need to be grateful for whatever you have. Contentment seems to be very ideal, but a person cannot become generous if he is contented with what he has. There are things that we must be grateful for and be contented with. Be generous in your own small ways. Put people first. Giving becomes easier when generosity comes in. A leader is measured not in terms of the number of people who serve him, but rather to the number of people he is serving. Don't allow the desire for possession control you. Let your heart be in charge within you, not the material things that you possess. There would never be satisfaction if your material desires are endless. Regard money as a resource. Man has been a slave of money and the only way to win over 
as J.C. Maxwell states, is to hold it loosely and be generous with it to accomplish things of value. And lastly, develop the habit of giving. There is a time when all things come in abundance and it is also time of redistributing it. For those who don't have material things to share, let this be saying or let this saying be their guide. Richness, I have nothing, but I can help through loving with my life worth giving. Generosity can be improved by the following. Give something away. Put your money to work and find someone to mentor. There are things that are important to you that can be replaced, so try giving this to people who will really benefit from it. As they say, giving it anonymously would be better. Use your money to improve others' lives. Money as resources can be put into work to outlive your expectations for better people, community, and world. And a time will come when you had reached the peak of your leadership. It would be good if you have some or someone whom you would train to be a good leader like you. Then, initiative. You won't leave home without it. Initiative is an introductory act or step, readiness and ability in initiating action, one personal responsible decision. A leader possesses the following qualities to make things happen. They know what they want. They push themselves to act. They take more, more risks. They make more mistakes. And as Senator Robert Kennedy says, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Initiative can be improved by doing the following. Change your mindset where resistance comes from within. It is only when you had come out of your shell that you begin to take the challenges outside. Don't wait for your opportunity to knock. Opportunity does not knock at your door. You know that you have the potential. Find opportunities. Show and share to the world what you've got. Take the next step. When opportunities come, select the best. Now that you have found the opportunity to share and show the world what you've got, work it as, fast, as far as you can. Listening. To connect with their hearts, use your ears. Listening or listen is to give attention for the purpose of hearing. Keep your ears open to the following to your mentors, your followers, your customers, your competitors. Listening can be improved by doing the following. Change your schedule. Have time to listen to your mentors, followers, customers, and competitors. Meet people on their turf. Seek common ground to build rapport with the person you are talking. Learn something about him so you can talk things of common interest. And listen between the lines. Factual and emotional content of conversation must be given attention. Listen with your heart. Passion. Take this life and love it. When we say passion, it is when any compelling emotion, a strong amorous feeling, a strong sexual desire, a strong fondness or enthusiasm. Truths about passion. Passion is the first step to achievement. It increases your willpower. It changes you and makes the impossible possible. Passion can be improved by doing the following. Take your temperature. Assess the level of desire towards your work and your life. Passion makes the difference on how you see life. Return to your first love. You are more enthusiastic when doing other things. These are the things that you had left behind because you have to attend to other obligations. Take advantage and do these things ag again to relax and to energize your body. 
associate with people of passion. Your environment affects your being. Birds of the same feather flock together. Having passionate people around gives booster to bring you back on track. Next, positive attitude. If you believe you can, you can. To be more positive, think of the following. Your attitude is a choice. Your attitude determines your actions. Your people are a mirror of your attitude. Maintaining a good attitude is easier than regaining one. Positive attitude can also be improved by doing the following. Feed yourself right food. Books about positive attitude are available on bookstands. Give yourself time to read and reflect on it. Achieve a goal every day. Setting an achievable goal every day changes the attitude of a person. When a pattern of achievement has been observed, a person has the tendency to think more positively. Write it on your wall. It does not mean that you vandalize your wall. Make a corner where you can show all your awards and citations. Have your plaques and trophies displayed on that corner. This will serve as a reminder that you have been doing positive things in your life and willing to do it over and over again. Next, problem solving. You can't let your problems be a problem. There are five qualities that demonstrated by a leader with good problem-solving ability. They anticipate problems. They accept the truth. They see the big picture. They handle one thing at a time. And they don't give up a major goal when they're down. Problem solving can be improved by the following. Look for trouble. Don't avoid problems. Encountering and solving a problem is an experience that molds and strengthens us to deal with different situations and difficult circumstances. Develop a method. Teach method for problem solving according to J.C. Maxwell. T is for time. Spend time to discover the real issue. E is for exposure. Find out what others have done. A is for assistance. Have your team study all angles. C is for creativity. Brainstorm multiple solutions. And H is for hit it. Implement the best solution. Surround yourself with problem solvers. Be with persons who are good at problem solving. They will complement your weaknesses and teach you on how to deal with them. Next, we have relationships. If you get along, they'll go along. Relationship is the state or fact of being related. To cultivate good relationships, it requires the following. Have a leader's head. Understand people. Love people and extend a leader's hand help people. Relationships can be improved by doing the following. Improve your mind. Be mature enough and widen your understanding. Allot some time to observe and talk to people and try your best to understand them. Strengthen your heart. Show them that you care. Show your feelings and act your way out. Repair a hurting relationship. Rebuild, reconcile, and reconnect relationships that had crumbled even though it has happened several years ago. Learn to forgive and apologize. Try to be more loving and understanding to people whom you had disagreement before. Next is responsibility. If you won't carry the ball, you can't lead the team. Responsibility or being responsible is the state or fact of being responsive or responsible. A person or thing for which one is responsible, it also involves duties or obligations, accountable as for something within one's power. The one who embraces responsibility has the following characteristics. They get the job done. 
They are willing to go the extra mile. They are driven by excellence. They produce regardless of the situation. Responsibility can be improved by the following. Keep hanging in there. When everything seems to crumble, stop for a while, then think and find ways to succeed. Be creative in finding ways to keep you on the right track. Admit what's not good enough. Failing depends on standards that must be met. Reset your standards to a higher level. The standards that you have been following might not be as good as it may seem as it was compared to this time. Find better tools. It seems that things are not failing or it's not falling on the right places even though your standards are high. You have good attitude and you had been working hard consistently. Consider the tools that you are using. It's time to update your materials and further develop your skills. Read books. Leader quality number 17. Security. Competence never compensates for insecurity. When we say security, this is a freedom from danger or risk. Freedom from care, anxiety or doubt, or something that protects and shelters. The common traits of insecure leaders are they don't provide security to others. They take more from people than they give. They continually limit their best people. They continually limit the organization. Security can be improved by doing the following. Knowing yourself, wherein you gather information about yourself from people you know. Let them assist or assess you as a person. Don't be defensive and reactive on their assessment. Reflect and make some necessary improvements. Give away the credit. Lift the morale of your team. Recognize their contributions for this will improve the organization. Get some help. Seek pro professional help if you cannot fight insecurities on your own. Be honest with yourself. Self-discipline. The first person you lead is you. These are the action points to follow. You should develop and follow your priorities. Make a disciplined lifestyle for your goal. Challenge your excuses. Remove rewards until the job is done and stay focused on results. Self-discipline can be improved by the following. Sort, of your pri uh, sort out your priorities or identify the areas in your life that are important to you. Develop a plan where you can practice self-discipline so that you can improve those areas. List the reasons. Make a list why self-discipline is important and beneficial to you. Let this be a reminder to achieving your priorities. And get rid of excuses. You should dismiss all excuses that arise in order for you to achieve your goals. Always think of the benefits that you will harvest and the consequences you might encounter when having a lot of excuses. Next is servanthood. To get ahead, put others first. A true servant leader embodies the following, puts others ahead of his own agenda, possesses the confidence to serve, initiates service to others, is not position conscious, serves out of love. Servanthood can be improved by the following, perform small acts, perform small acts of kindness to others, Show them that you care. Others greatly appreciate small things beneficial to them. Learn to walk slowly through the crowd. Try to connect as much as many people in the crowd and approach them and say hello and be updated on what keeps them busy. Move into action. Learn how to serve and you can start with your family, your church, and then with your community.